Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Pour Couture Lipstick. I hope I'm saying that right because my French isn't always the best. With that being said, I have two lipsticks to show you guys and these are compliments of Influencer. If you're unfamiliar about what Influencer is, I will leave some information below in the information section. But for now, let's talk about these lipsticks. I received these two lipsticks to try out and I'm wearing one today. I'm actually wearing number uh, number 19 today and I have a live swatch of this and I'm going to talk about these shades how they performed for me how I would wear them how you could wear them and also I just wanted to tell you and I'm going to tell you guys what shades I'm thinking about getting next and which shade I already picked up so I'm already ahead of the game because I love these so much I need to get a third one so uh, first of all since I got it from uh, Influencer it came with a little information card it's a new product and it says in one stroke a luxuriously rich color that dresses the lips in intense hydration and antioxidant care and it's got the signature jewel-like packaging and it symbolizes ultimate feminine strength. First of all, yes, let's talk about the packaging because I'm a huge fan of packaging. Look at this beautiful packaging. Reflective gold. It's just beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with it. Very simple. I love that it's not a magnetic closure. Like it actually is a snug close. You don't have to worry about this opening up in your bag. Um, I do like the intense hydration of it. Like this just creamy glided on my lips. Super hydrating. And what I really liked about it is that it didn't, it wasn't sheer. Like it was a hydrating lipstick that I didn't have to like layer with tons and tons of swipes. It gave me that boom of opacity. It's a bright hot pink lipstick um, and usually when I think high-end, especially when I think YSL, I don't usually think like hot pink. For me this was a really nice surprise to see this shade and I paired this shade with a smoky uh, purple on my eyes. I did a little bit of black and then I put purple over it to kind of not make my eyes too much of a pop. I wanted my lips to be the pop. That's why I did this. Now I'm going to swatch this. I have a lip swatch too. There's going to be a video right here. So that's how it goes on. But I also want to show you a live swatch on my hand too. So, you know, just to swatch more swatches. Um, another thing I like is that on the actual lipstick itself, it has the little YSL logo, which is kind of cute. So I'm going to swatch this up on the hand. And this is number 19. So that's two swipes, but in one swipe it is very opaque. Now this kind of has a satiny finish, so it's not a matte finish, uh, which is what I prefer. But it definitely is so comfortable on the lips that I'm like, I don't even care. Like it's that good. Now I also have another shade, and this is shade number 9. And shade number nine is a dusty rose shade, and I'm gonna apply this shade for you live right now. So for this lipstick, which is number nine, Rose Stiletto, and by the way, the other shade was called just simply 19 Fuchsia. For this, I did a more everyday look. I lightened up my eyes. I put a little bit more highlight on my cheeks. I didn't really do much contouring. I kind of did more of a strobing look, and I kept everything else really subdued because this is more of a day shade, whereas Fuchsia is more of like a night shade, it's like a fun shade. Um, and I'm also going to quickly do this on my hand. Here's a close-up of the shade. It's a very kind of retro color. It reminds me of the 90s. And again, one swipe opaque, two swipes. Just See, this is why I like doing the lip swatches, because on the hand, it just doesn't do it justice when, as you saw my lips, completely opaque, great performs well. These lipsticks do have a little bit of a scent. It's a little bit perfumey, but it's not terrible and it goes away within a minute. It's actually kind of pleasant when it goes on lips because it really isn't overpowering, but if you're sensitive to scents and lipstick, you may be quick to notice it. Um, with that being said, if you're looking for hydration, high quality, 
the packaging and just something that if you're going to splurge especially on a shade that you can wear every day like rose stiletto or if you're looking for something that will be your go-to night shade that's going to keep your lips hydrated it's going to keep you if that rich pigmentation it's good for your lips because it has the antioxidant care if you're looking to treat yourself YSL is always the way to go in terms of the shade I picked up after uh, I got my influencer box I picked up number 54 and this is prune Avenue it's such a pretty shade I haven't worn it yet but how beautiful is that for fall and you know what? Fall is a great time to pick up YSL, these YSL lipsticks to Rouge Repair Couture because in the fall, especially if you're in like the northern states, just your lips take a beating. You've got to keep your lips hydrated. And this is a great way where you can still have that really nice lip look without just wearing chapstick. The shade that I'm most looking forward to trying next is number 59, Melon Dior, because it just looks so pretty. Here it is on the Sephora website. Just looks like such a pretty shade um, so I'm looking forward to trying that next if you guys would like to check out this lipstick I'm going to leave a link below I hope you enjoyed the picture swatches and the live swatches and the two different looks I did to match with these lipsticks as always guys thank you so much for watching and thank you again so much to influencer for picking me for the you said Laurent box box I enjoyed the experience and I'm really happy that I discovered a new lipstick that I loved and I already have three of them and I can't wait to get more. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled